this is Alice from Flux and I'm here to show you how to set up Adobe Illustrator for laser cutting. So we are going to open Adobe Illustrator here. Let's just make it full screen so we can see what we're doing. So the most important thing is that everything is done in millimetres. So go up to the Adobe Illustrator menu at the top. Whether you're on Creative Cloud or an older version, this should still all be in the same place. Go down to Preferences and then Units. And we need to change all of this to millimetres. Mostly, the most important thing is the general one, um, but then also I find that it helps to change the stroke and also the type to millimetres, just so you're all working in the same uh, in the same layout. So click OK, and then we're going to go File, New, and we're going to create a new document. This is again slightly different on Creative Cloud to the older versions, but still pretty much the same. So Let's say Alice Flux, three millimeter clear acrylic. So we're gonna change this here to millimeters and the artboard we're gonna work with is 900 by 600. This is our sheet size that we keep for acrylic. We have clear white, black in stock and we can order in the full range of Perspex colors. And let's say we're gonna do two artboards. We can add artboards later on, but just sometimes if you know you need to use multiple sheets, adding them in at this stage makes it a wee bit easier. And the colour mode here, RGB. Create. And here we go, we have our two artboards here. So when we're laying stuff out for, it, uh, for laser cutting, we need to have a margin around the edge of the material of 5mm. So within an 800 by 900, uh, sorry, 900 by 600mm sheet, all cutting needs to be kept within an 890 by 590 square, a rectangle, sorry. So here we go, 890 by 590. So to get this box to pop up, the, what you do is just click and then the box pops up and then press OK. So we'll just delete that one and we can centralise this box to the artboard. And there you go, you have your artboard ready to draw on. We're just gonna set that to have a no fill. And that just gives you an indication of where to draw and where to design within your sheet. I hope that helps. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about laser cutting or wanting to get some stuff done, feel free to head over to our website, www.fluxlaserstudio.co.uk or alternatively drop us an email to hello at fluxlaserstudio.co.uk or head over to our Twitter or Instagram at fluxlaserstudio. Thanks very much.